A photoresist is a light-sensitive material used in several industrial processes, such as photolithography and photoengraving, to form a pattern coating on a surface. Photoresist categories The main properties characterizing the photoresist types are Tone photoresists are classified into two groups, positive resists and negative resists. A positive resist is a type of photoresist in which the portion of the photoresist that is exposed to light becomes soluble to the photoresist. Developer The portion of the photoresist that is unexposed remains insoluble to the photoresist developer. A negative resist is a type of photoresist in which the portion of the photoresist that is exposed to light becomes insoluble to the photoresist. Developer. The unexposed portion of the photoresist is dissolved by the photoresist developer. Differences between tone types note. This table is based on generalizations which are generally accepted in the MEMS fabrication industry. Developing light wavelength The most important light types include UV, DUV, and the G&I lines having wavelength of 436 nanometers and 365 nanometers respectively of a mercury vapor lamp. This particular parameter is closely related to the thickness of the applied photoresist, with thinner layers corresponding to shorter wavelengths permitting a reduced aspect ratio and a reduced minimum feature size. This is important in microelectronics and especially the ITRS reduction in minimum feature size. Intel U has semiconductor fabrication facilities currently operating at the 22 nanometer node. Chemicals used Different chemicals may be used for permanently giving the material the desired property variations. Poly. Poly. Phenol formaldehyde resin. SU8. The above materials are all applied as a liquid and, generally, spin coated to ensure uniformity of thickness. Dry film stands alone amongst the other types in that the coating already exists as a uniform thickness. Semi solid film coated onto a polyester substrate and the user applies that substrate to the workpiece in question by lamination. Applications Fabrication of printed circuit boards. This can be done by applying photoresist, exposing image to ultraviolet rays, and then etching using iron chloride, cupric chloride or an alkaline ammonia etching solution to remove the copperclad substrate. Sand carving. Sand blasting of materials is done after a photolithographically printed pattern has been applied as a mask. Microelectronics This application mainly apply to silicon wafers. Silicon integrated circuits is the most developed of the technologies and the most specialized in the field. Patterning and etching of substrates. This includes specialty photonics materials, MEMS, glass printed circuit boards, and other micropatterning tasks. Photoresist tends not to be etched by solutions with a pH greater than 3. Other aspects of photoresist technologies. Absorption at UV and shorter wavelengths photoresists are most commonly used at wavelengths in the ultraviolet spectrum or shorter. For example, diazone athoquinone absorbs strongly from approximately 300 nanometers to 450 nanometers. The absorption bands can be assigned to n pi asterisk and pi pi asterisk transitions in the DNQ molecule. In the deep ultraviolet spectrum, the pi pi asterisk electronic transition in benzene or carbon double bond chromophores appears at around 200 nanometers. Due to the appearance of more possible absorption transitions involving larger energy differences, the absorption tends to increase with shorter wavelengths or larger photon energy. Photons with energies exceeding the ionization potential of the photoresist can also release electrons which are capable of additional exposure of the photoresist. From about 5 electron volts to about 20 electron volts, photoionization of outer valence band electrons is the main absorption mechanism. Above 20 electron volts, inner electron ionization and auger transitions become more important. Photon absorption begins to decrease as the X-ray region is approached. As fewer auger transitions between deep atomic levels are allowed for the higher photon energy, 
the absorbed energy can drive further reactions and ultimately dissipates as heat. This is associated with the outgassing and contamination from the photoresist. Electron beam exposure photoresists can also be exposed by electron beams, producing the same results as exposure by light. The main difference is that while photons are absorbed, depositing all their energy at once, electrons deposit their energy gradually and scatter within the photoresist during this process. As with high-energy wavelengths, many transitions are excited by electron beams, and heating and outgassing are still her concern. The dissociation energy for ACC bond is 3.6 electron volts. Secondary electrons generated by primary ionizing radiation have energies sufficient to dissociate this bond, causing scission. In addition, the low-energy electrons have a longer photoresist interaction time due to their lower speed. Essentially the electron has to be at rest with respect to the molecule in order to react most strongly via dissociative electron attachment. Where the electron comes to rest at the molecule, depositing all its kinetic energy, the resulting scission breaks the original polymer into segments of lower molecular weight which are more readily dissolved in a solvent, or else releases other chemical species which catalyze further scission reactions. It is not common to select photoresists for electron beam exposure. Electron beam lithography usually relies on resists dedicated specifically to electron beam exposure. DNQ Novalac Photoresist One very common positive photoresist used with the eye. GNH lines from a mercury vapor lamp is based on a mixture of diazone aphthoquinone and Novalac resin. DNQ inhibits the dissolution of the Novalac resin, but upon exposure to light, the dissolution rate increases even beyond that of pure Novalac. The mechanism by which unexposed GNQ inhibits Novalac dissolution is not well understood, but is believed to be related to hydrogen bonding. DNQ Novalac resists are developed by dissolution in a basic solution in water. Negative photoresist Contrary to past types, current negative photoresists tend to exhibit better adhesion to various substrates such as C, gas, I, N, P and glass as well as metals, including O, C, U and Al, compared to positive tone photoresists. Additionally, the current generation of G, H and I line negative tone photoresists exhibit higher temperature resistance over positive resists. One very common negative photoresist is based on epoxy-based polymer. The common product name is SU-8 Photoresist, and it was originally invented by IBM, but is now sold by Microchem and Gerstel Tech. One unique property of SU-8 is that it is very difficult to strip. As such, it is often used in applications where a permanent resist pattern is needed for a device. However, this material does not experience the diazo coupling. The combined benzene chromophore and DNQ Novalac absorption mechanisms lead to stronger absorption by DNQ Novalac photoresists in the DUV, requiring a much larger amount of light for sufficient exposure. The strong DUV absorption results in diminished photoresist sensitivity. Chemical amplification photoresists used in production for DUV and shorter wavelengths require the use of chemical amplification to increase the sensitivity to the exposure energy. This is done in order to combat the larger absorption at shorter wavelengths. Chemical amplification is also often used in electron beam exposures to increase the sensitivity to the exposure dose. In the process, acids released by the exposure radiation diffuse during the post-exposure bake step. These acids render surrounding polymer soluble in developer. A single acid molecule can catalyze many such protection reactions, hence, fewer photons or electrons are needed. Acid diffusion is important not only to increase photoresist sensitivity and throughput, but also to limit line edge roughness due to shot noise statistics. However, the acid diffusion length is itself a potential resolution limiter. In addition, too much diffusion reduces chemical contrast leading again to more roughness. 
The following reactions are an example of commercial chemically amplified photoresists in use today. Photoacid generator plus H new acid cation plus sulfonate anion. Sulfonate anion plus H new E minus plus sulfonate. E minus plus photoacid generator E minus plus acid cation plus sulfonate anion. The E minus represents a solvated electron or a freed electron that may react with other constituents of the solution. It typically travels a distance on the order of many nanometers before being contained. Such a large travel distance is consistent with the release of electrons through thick oxide in UV EPRAM in response to ultraviolet light. This parasitic exposure would degrade the resolution of the photocyst. For 193 nanometers the optical resolution is the limiting factor anyway. But for electron beam lithography or EUVL it is the electron range that determines the resolution rather than the optics. Some common photoresists Dan Daly states that Shipley, acquired by Roman Haas, and Hoext, now called AZ Electronic Materials, are two producers of microelectronic chemicals. Common products include Hoext AZ4620, Hoext AZ4562, Shipley 1400-17, Shipley 1400-27, Shipley 1400-37, and Shipley Microposite Developer. The resists mentioned are, generally, applied in a relatively thick layer, approximately 120 nanometers to 10 micrometers, and are used in the manufacture of microlens arrays. Microelectronic resists, presumably, utilize specialized products depending upon process objectives and design constraints. The general mechanism of exposure for these photoresis proceeds with the decomposition of diazoquinone, i.e., the evolution of nitrogen gas and the production of carbenes.